Back in the 30s, it was considered the tomato capital of the world. And in their heyday, they would ship uh, sometimes up to 90 to 100 boxcars of green tomatoes out a day. You've heard that old saying, the more things change, the more they stay the same. And in the East Texas town of Jacksonville, the tomato business withered away decades ago. But that didn't make any difference to the Texas Basket Company. We'll make anywhere from six to 14,000 baskets a day. I'm not sure how many that is a year, but it's, it's a good bit. We first toured Martin Swanson's booming basket business back in 1994. It might as well have been 1924. An industrial relic of logs and saws and steam and strips of wood woven into a timeless tote. Now this is a, a round bottom bushel basket. It's the same basket, same way we've made it. It's been made here since early 1900. Uh, not many changes at all. It survived the uh, onset of cardboard boxes and plastics, and we think that it's uh, that's a container that will never be replaced. Now, needless to say, we were fascinated by the basket company. We even featured it in a coffee table book we did, but a lot can change in 25 years. And we got to wondering about that old Jacksonville landmark. Are the saws still spinning? Are the orders still coming in? Does anyone still need a woven wooden container today? We wanted to come by here to find out if, if baskets are still needed like they were way back when you first bought this place. Well, we, we do sell some for the same type of purposes, but not near as much. You know, we diversified and tried to figure out what else somebody could use a basket for, but we still sell them for cucumbers in New Jersey and crabs in Chesapeake Bay and different farm products, but we also sell them to different places to put candy in, uh, gift baskets, display. When this place started, they made, what, two baskets? A bushel and a half of And now? Probably about 200. 200? 200, 200. Different baskets. Yeah, more or less, yeah. So even in 2019, people still want and need baskets. Yes, yeah. I'm hoping so. <laughs> we are happy to report that the Texas Basket Company is alive and well, especially since this year marks a milestone. It's their 100th anniversary. Martin's been in charge for nearly half of that time, and when you've been around as long as he has, well, there's no need to get in a rush. You guys are 100 years old this year. Now, a lot of companies would be making a big deal about that, but you don't even have a sign up anywhere that says, hey, we're 100, <laughs> look at us. Why not? I'm working on that. It might take me a little longer to do things. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably have a sign up for the years up, but uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it just kind of goes hand in hand with this old, old antique place. That's the comforting thing about this place. They operate it their way, on their terms. This secluded corner of the piney woods won't be swayed by the whims of the modern world. And the latest environmental trend out there is nothing more than common sense and frugality in here. A tree hits our yard and we, we cut it up and we take the bark off, we steam it overnight and we veneer it and assemble the basket and dry it and chip it. And everything, everything that tree is used. I mean, we use the, the wood waste to fuel for Instead of electricity, we used steam, and so uh, we were a way, way green business before green was cool. Yeah. <laughs> With every log cut, the stacks of baskets climb a little bit higher in this steam-powered factory. 
Martin Swanson will be the first to admit it's an old-fashioned business. And while we might have faster machines and better technology these days, the value of making something here at home will never be obsolete. Especially a basket. When you think of basket, you think of China, and you think of China, everything's made in China. So uh, if this is it. It, it, it's rewarding to make something. That's got to feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Real yeah. rewarding to make something here in this country from start from, from a log to a basket. You know, we make the whole thing here. You still take pride in it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we make a good basket. 